Alright guys, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to scan your computer for viruses. First of all, you got to have installed AVG, Super Anti-Spyware, and Spybot Search and Destroy if you don't. Visit my website at pchelpforbeginners.com, click on the Antivirus Help tab, and then uh, click on the Installing Antivirus Programs and the best ones to use article. And there I will explain how to install those three programs that we need, okay? Now if you don't have internet, because the virus has taken over your internet. Um, a way we can do to fix this is we go to start, control panel, network and internet, network and sharing center, change adapter settings, right click your local area connection, and then hit properties. Make sure it's the one that's colored, that means that's the one you're using. Okay. Let's check out, we got to look at both of these, 4 and 6, where it says version 4 and 6. Let's check out version 4 first. We'll hit properties. Make sure that it says IP address automatically, server address automatically. If it's, if it's showing something like this, it means you have been hijacked and the hacker has has uh, put his, his DNS server in here. And that's the reason why you don't have internet. So erase these numbers or write them down for your personal reference. And after you erase them, click put it back to normal. Obtain DNS server address automatically. Okay. Then we'll check version 6 and make sure it says automatically. After this, hopefully you will have internet again. If you still do not have internet, it means uh, the virus has really um, taken over your computer. Okay, at that point, you might have to reinstall Windows. If you need to reinstall Windows, go to my website and uh, click on the Windows tab and right there, and then click on the how to reinstall Windows article, okay? And that'll show you how to do it. Also, it'll show you how to back up your uh, stuff uh, before, you before you have to format your whole hard drive, okay? All right. So for those of you that do have internet, and you can continue, the next thing we got to do is um, go to click on start and type in msconfig. Open up msconfig. The system configuration window is going to pop up. Uh, click on the startup tab, and make sure that only your antivirus and your anti-spyware is checked here. If you notice, I got AVG, SpyBot. If you notice, Adobe is here. I don't need Adobe, so I'm going to uncheck it. And after that, go to Services. Make sure you click on Hide All Microsoft Services. You don't want to uncheck Microsoft Services. So hide all of Microsoft Services. You notice the only ones I have here is SpyBot Search and Destroy, AVG, and AVG. Everything else, uncheck it. Okay. After you're done with that, hit Apply. Hit OK. It's going to ask you to restart. Click on Restart. And once your computer restarts, you're going to notice your computer is going to be a little bit faster. And the virus might even might even be off for now, okay? So now, after you're done with that, bring up your AVG. Hide the notification here, that bugs. Bring up SpyBot Search and Destroy. And bring up Super Anti-Spyware, okay? So the first, things, the first thing you got to do is check for updates. Make sure we have a complete list of all the new viruses out there. So AVG is updating, we're update Super Anti-Spyware, updating, and we'll update SpyBot Search and Destroy. Click on the closest server to you, mine is USA, hit continue. I don't have any updates ready to download. These aren't updates, these are just uh, extra. Updates will come up as a wrench. If you see a wrench here, make sure you get those updates, okay? I don't have any, so SpyBot Search and Destroy is ready. We'll go ahead and click on Check for Problems. Looks like definitions are up to date. Hit Close. That's for Super Anti-Spyware. We'll scan with Super Anti-Spyware. Updates completed successfully for AVG, so click on Scan Now. Should start scanning in a second. So there we go. All three of them are scanning. It's going to take a couple of hours. And if you notice, Super Antispyware already found a tracking cookie on my computer. Your computer could be way worse with m way more viruses. I don't even think I have a virus, but 
We'll, we're, we're checking just in case. So like I said, it's going to take one or two hours. So uh, I will get back to you as soon as the scan is done. All right, so the scans are complete, and it looks like uh, Super Anti Spyware found something. AVG did not really didn't find nothing, and Spyball Search and Destroy did not find nothing. So that is why it's good to have three of them running instead of just having one antivirus program. Because what what if I didn't have Super Anti Spyware? What if I just had these two? You know, it would have not found anything. So Super Anti Spyware found 118, 118 files. One of them is critical, and it's the CNET installer, which I think I got that like from CNET.com when I was downloading something from them. That tracking objects, not harmful, but these items might track surfing activity. So make sure they're all checked. Remove threats. Right now it's quarantining and removing. Now results will vary. Some of you are, of course, the reason why you're looking at this video is because, uh, hit reboot later, is because you have viruses. So you will see viruses here. You see spyware, spyware. Just remove it all. Okay, so finished, and there we go. Okay. So like I said, some of you are going to have viruses in AVG, spyball search and destroy. Once you uh, once you get them removed with these programs, restart your computer, and they should be gone. If they're not gone yet, then I uh, recommend that you um, you go back to my website, pchelpforbeginners.com, and you go to antivirus help tab, and and there you're gonna see uh, an article link called uh, um, scanning in safe mode for better results so see well, we're scanning in regular mode right now and um, if the virus still is not gone after you do this what we just did then you're gonna have to log in as in safe mode and do it there and I'm sure after doing that you'll be able to do it if you do not know how to go in safe mode uh, just go to pchelpforbeginners.com go to my website go to antivirus help tab and then there you'll find out how to do it so this, that concludes this tutorial on how to remove viruses. And again, this tutorial was for viruses that are minimal, that aren't really haven't done much damage, okay? And um, so that's it. Hope this was very helpful for you guys, and uh, have a good day.